Good morning. It is day one. It's finally here. And I am just, I can't believe it's here. I've been waiting for this for six years, ever since my Europe trip ended, basically was the next time I was coming down for another trip. And it's finally arrived. I'm just gonna tell you that it is 3.40 p.m. Japan time. If you can do the math, you'll know how early it is Eastern time. 13 hour difference. I'm getting picked up by a friend. I actually took her to the airport when she was going to Ireland. And now she's taking me to the airport for Japan. Um, I made these reservations before I knew she was gonna be doing this. So sorry, Mary, it's a pretty early day for you. Going to O'Hare and then I'm gonna take a flight at 6 a.m. from O'Hare to Minneapolis and then Minneapolis to Haneda Airport. And it, it's gonna be a long day but I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I texted my brother because he lives on the West Coast. He was still awake, so got to tell him good morning before he went to bed. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the day, but if all goes according to plan, when I go to bed, I will be in Odaiba, Tokyo, Japan. Let's roll. Time is now 3.50 central time. And I am through security. That was very fast. There must only be like one flight right now that's gonna be going out. So that was a big help because I've been to Detroit at four in the morning and it's been chaos. So that was really good. So now I've caught like two hours so I can really relax a little bit. Pray that the flight to Minneapolis leaves on time. First flight done. I look awful, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that I am now in Minneapolis. I stopped at a diner that was right outside the gate. Uh, I've got two hours before we start boarding, so I've got some time to get from F over to G. And then my flight leaves at 11.05. It's currently 7.50. That's why I decided for a sit down breakfast. Treat yourself. I'm on vacation now.
ignored the sweaty mess, but I have made it. I am through customs, had the QR codes correct, and they let me in. So I am now officially in Japan. Three things, I gotta find Suica card, Jara Pass, and what was the third thing? Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. Got my Ninja Wi-Fi, so I have a pocket Wi-Fi for the whole trip. Now I'm gonna go across the way to get my JR Pass and my IC card. Another update. I don't think I need to pick up my JR Pass yet because it's a 14 day pass and I'm here for 17 and I need it for the last day. So I can pick that up later at Tokyo Station. I think I can pick it up at Shibuya Station, Shinjuku Station. So scratch that. Um, but I still need to find the IC card. But I did find the new Haneda, what do they call it? Haneda Airport Garden, which just opened like a couple months ago. So I'm gonna go check it out since things are going pretty quickly. I also need to get my new portable Wi-Fi set up so that I have Wi-Fi all over the country. A little update. I got to freshen up in the new Haneda Garden area, uh, which meant the toilets were nice and fresh. And uh, when I went into the stall, the stall doors closed at the floor and you couldn't see any cracks. And uh, when you sat on the toilet, bird sounds started to sing to mask the sound of you peeing. This, this country knows no bounds. They have everything solved. World peace from Japan. You can also see I washed my face, did my hair, got my hat out, organized some stuff. I feel a little better now. Gotta get my IC card, and then I can start getting to my hotel. Via monorail and possibly boat. We shall see. to my hotel in Odaiba and I wasn't sure if I was going to get it in time and this is the last boat of the day but success I took the monorail walked over to the pier managed to find the right building which took a little while and got my ticket and now I get to enjoy a nice seaside cruise it's a little choppy today so hopefully it's not seasickness inducing but you're gonna get some good views regardless. You don't have to worry about the seasickness. one of the buildings is Tokyo Tower and I did notice Tokyo Sky Tree. Actually that was the first thing I noticed when I got into the land, into Japan, was Tokyo Sky Tree so that was pretty exciting. It's like when I parrot, uh, parasailed over by Mackinac Bridge. That's how close we're getting. This area was where the Olympic rings were over here. And, they, and here's Odaiba. Pardon the dumb tourist look. I have this soaked it in water and wrapped it around my neck. Keep me cool. That was really great. And I don't know if I've seen that recommendation from anybody that I've watched, but I recommend it. Plus, it helps that the ferry inside is air-conditioned. They're pretty cold air conditioning, but I wasn't going to stay out from above the uh, top of it because the views were incredible. You can see 360 degree view around Tokyo Bay. And this rainbow bridge is unbelievable. And that's not even like the pinnacle of Tokyo architecture. I mean, look over here. It's the Statue of Liberty. 
So it is a replica of the one that's in New York City. It's a little smaller. Very interesting to see that in Tokyo. And here is Odaiba Seaside Park. They do have a beach. It's not necessarily a swimming beach, but they've got sand. So the goal is get to the hotel, finally dump all this stuff, take a shower. And because I can't go to bed until at least nine, I'm gonna come back out and find some dinner. And then I'm probably gonna go back to the hotel, shower again, and then go to bed. Something I'm starting to notice is, even though this is a relatively busy road, there's a pedestrian walkway and I have had a pedestrian walkway since I got out of the main area of Odaiba. So thanks Tokyo. going to the premium floors, which is what I am. I'm floor 19, so almost at the very tippy top. I'm feeling luxurious, but also disgusting. I mean, look at this, gross. I have a ticket for breakfast, and that's my room number. And here we are. This is like the grand premium double suite. Look how small this room is. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh. But I've got pajamas, which I always see, and I'm like, oh, I should just bring a pajamas just in case. And the TV, microwave, and fridge if I needed it, which I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to 7 Eleven for dinner. Just because it's close, it's like a block away, and I'm tired, and I think I'm just gonna hole up in the room tonight. Here's my brief room tour. So you enter through there, there's a little closet there. I have some clothes hanging over there. Uh, I got the bathroom with the toilet. And yes, it is a Japanese toilet. So it has all these buttons, including for the ladies of the day. And I'm still too scared to try it, um, but I will let you know. <laughs> well, maybe I won't let you know. I will try it, but I probably won't let you know. They did have um, like a toiletries tray. So like I couldn't bring a razor on my trip. So there's that. And I also toothbrush and teeny tiny tiny toothpaste. Uh, the shower, it's, it's more like a shower room. So like you shower here and then you like bathe here or you know, whatever floats your boat. So it gets pretty, I mean, that's why it's closed off and everything like that. But it's kind of interesting. You can see I already showered, hello. I'm feeling much better now. Uh, here's the vanity area that I've already set up for all my stuff. I'm only here for one night, but I, you had to get everything set out so I could repack it for tomorrow. Um, this is a clothes freshener. I still haven't figured out how to turn it on, but if I can figure it out, I'm going to use it. Uh, there is air conditioning and they can't, you can set it to Fahrenheit. And yes, I did make it super cold. This, there's actually a doorbell for the room. So if I needed it, I think that camera, that's a camera. These are the light switches and the bed itself, which is covered with my stuff right now that overlooks you can tell I really upgraded for this view. Boom. I mean, it's nice that there's a balcony, but it looks over absolutely nothing. Just another business room thing. The TV, which I'm excited to kind of see what kind of, I mean, this looks like just regular news, but I'm looking forward to seeing what other kinds of things I can watch. Like seeing anime in Japan without subtitles. That would be pretty neat. I might give it a shot. Um, refrigerator and microwave and that's the room. I did it. I went to 7-Eleven and bought dinner. I didn't show it because it was scary. He asked if I wanted a bag and I had no idea what he was saying but he just held up a bag and I said hi <laughs> and I got an umbrella too. <sighs> Next time I'll show you but we'll sample some stuff in the room. A 
really love that. Let's do a food haul. I won't do this every night, but I'm super excited that I successfully went to a 7-Eleven and the only slip up was if I needed a bag. I had the money, I used my IC card, and it had stuff in English so I could like read the screen and I got the food that I wanted. So first off, we've got crispy potato sticks with garlic and butter flavor. But tastes like a chip. It's as advertised. Next, a drink. A fruit ole. I'm sorry, the lighting is not good for this, but I did see my uh, tea that I sampled for Instagram. So if you're curious, it's there. Oh, that is delicious. It's like a melted Dole Whip. So they've got it's got the pineapple there. I like that. Okay, if I see that, I'll get it again. Mayonnaise and tuna um, bakery thing. Remember, this 7-Eleven is light years beyond what the States has. Like, it's an institution. And it goes up against Lawson and Family Mart, which apparently there's a Lawson in this hotel, and I didn't even see it. I went across the street instead. The, the bread. Okay, so the mayonnaise is on top. I don't know if I got any tuna, but the bread and the mayonnaise is good. I'll keep eating that. And that was only 140 yen. The, the items that I got, plus the umbrella, were seven, like 1,700 yen, which is the equivalent of like 15 bucks. Last thing, finally, onigiri, a rice ball. Uh, this is red salmon and salt. There's a process to eating onigiri because you don't want the rice to, um, oh, <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't do it right. I just ripped it open. Good job, Claire. But they have the seaweed on the outside, and then you have to put it with the rice so that the seaweed doesn't, uh, or the rice doesn't ruin the seaweed. Um, something else I've really doing wrong. Well, I'm gonna get onigiri again, and uh, I will actually wrap it correctly next time. Usually onigiri looks like a little triangle. So you got the rice inside and, and then the other fixings. So, oh, I forgot to save it. Eat the dekimas. That tastes really good, especially with the crunch of the seaweed. Yeah, I'll get more of these for sure, especially because I'm gonna try my best to spend cheap when I can. Like I spent thirty dollars on breakfast this morning slash yesterday morning, so this is kind of making up for it. A fifteen dollar dinner where I I got more than enough. That concludes the vlog for day one slash two. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit and um, I hope it gets you excited for future videos. Arigato gozaimasu and sayonara.